Capital Club in Bahrain with Bayan al barak Kanu, the founder of al Rawak Art Space. Bayan, how are you? Fine, thanks, and thank you for inviting me and interested to know about al Rawak and what we do. Absolutely. So we just came off of this panel, uh, this women's entrepreneurship event, and, uh, and it, it got a little heated in moments, so <laughs> we'd love to hear a bit about, just first introduce what is the art space, what is the gallery that you've been creating? In this house in Manama. A Ruach art space is has no uh, such medium as su not medium as such. We are open to any kind of creativity. It can be art. It can be video. It can be movie. It can be music, um, stories, whatever. Uh, culinary art. This is all is is creativity. It comes out of passion it doesn't come out of like you know just get going and getting something ready you have to create it and any kind of creation so uh, we didn't say it's a gallery it's an art space so the art space is an open space for everybody and also we are not within the boundaries of a ruach uh, the, what we are doing is we're trying to go out of the um, expected at, out of the norm that uh, is inside the four walls or inside the walls we are going outside we are introducing public art we are engaging uh, um, uh, the uh, urban um, around us whatever uh, uh, the uh, the city we are trying to change the mindset of the people that's the most important thing one of the, our mission is to change the mindset of the people not to take everything as it comes and and you can you have everything that really reflect, you reflect whatever comes on you. But you also have to analyze and think and acknowledge if that's something good for us or bad for us. So the art we are bringing, it's not uh, art to collect. It is art to question. It is an art to raise issues and, and issues that it is uh, relevant. It's not about, uh, you know, oh, if this line is straight or it's not straight. No, it's about it, what we're doing. Is it uh, right? Is it uh, ethically? Is it, um, are we interacting with what is happening around us? Are, are we being positive uh, individuals? All of this is like part of the questions and responsibilities. This desire to, or the, you know, as you're saying now, the mandate to push boundaries in Bahrain. How do you succeed in doing that without stepping too far and getting shut down as a business or censored? Or how do you manage that? Uh, first of all, we are not trying to create uh, a blast. It's not about creating a big. Um, impact on the people in the sense of making a big noisy uh, uh, thing. It's you always have to respect the culture. You always have to respect uh, the right and wrong in the sense of our surrounding. Like, you know, my daughter once asked me, "Mom, how can you say this is like right or wrong in, in the religion?" I said, "There is no right, no wrong. It's you know, in your heart, you are not hurting anybody, and there is like you know, I'm not covered. That doesn't mean I'm not a Muslim. I'm trying to balance. I mean, I'm trying to be." contemporary and modern and also in the art it's at the same time it's the way we live it's the art of the way we live it's not only the art of uh, you know I can afford to buy this or I cannot afford to buy this also the art we are introducing like you know video art video art is like people don't buy it here and don't understand how to buy it even um, we are the first art space that showed video art and this is a responsibility I took this a step because I know it would raise questions. It would make you think. And for us, instead of only copy and cut and paste, we need to be responsible about whatever we take and whatever we do. And when I push boundaries or I help artists or people or creators, every time it's a responsibility. But I'm not trying to make a blast in the sense of, oh, look at them. Sometimes it can be positive, sometimes negative. But the intention is not this at all. So to go back to the business side also of entrepreneurship, um, what are the biggest challenges setting up the gallery, getting it to run? Is it profitable? Can you speak to that? Uh, we are definitely barely cutting our, I mean, covering our cost. And we've been like minus for like a lot of thousands in, in the bank. We've been overdraft for a while. But 
what kept me going on it's the belief it's only temporary the belief it's like we are going there the belief it's like there is always um a result for the hard work and I definitely know I worked very hard and not al me alone I got a good support from the friends I have the family it's like my husband was such a great support and a believer um, we've done charity work a lot of charity work so we are reflecting also on the um, community everything what we think and what we do is about community so a lot of charity work with no money is fully devoted for the sake of helping the community so we've done a lot of work with the cancer society with the rahma center with many i mean so many events but the idea is it's not about making money money you can use it immediately or spend it in one night or in one trip but at the end what it would leave with you and that's so kind of sometimes businessmen don't think I am very yes. positive in this. I mean, not very realistic in this, but I feel it's our duty at the end of the day. The government will do something, but the uh, social um, uh, section will definitely have to do a very big part. We have to be balanced with that. And I'm not aiming to do any uh, uh, interest or profit from this whatever money we can get we'll turn it into workshops we'll give it to artists to travel for residency programs and vice versa whatever and so um, just finally uh, when you're speaking about supporting artists what do you think other entrepreneurs even if you're not turning a profit when you look out there and see artists trying to make money from their art you know, other, you can call them creative entrepreneurs as well, other entrepreneurs trying to make money from their art. How do you support them? Do you think mentorship is enough? What does the Bahraini ecosystem need? Uh, there is a lot to do in here and I think it's only right for the artist and the creators and the entrepreneurship, entrepreneur to make money out of their creativity because they are they are living it and it's only it has to be a reflection of what they do i mean i'm not hoping to lose but my aim is also making money to help others so it all depends uh, how you mentor i want to make money to be able to support and mentor other entrepreneurs and having people to visit and sit and discuss with them the more we analyze the more we think and the more we connect them internationally we need to be a platform relating to the world we don't have to be only by ourselves because everybody here thinks for an event and they clap for you and they tell you well done this is not it it has to be an accumulative work it has to be uh, one step after the other so then it leads to a, pro uh, a product and it needs to a result at the end thank you so much for chatting with us thank you very much thank